Hey guys, what's up? Producer engineer Alex Scott here with Concertini.com, checking out this Octava MKL 2500 tube microphone. Now, this is a really interesting mic. Octava is a Russian company that originally started as a Soviet uh, company, you know, back in the 60s, 70s, and they've been producing microphones for a long time. Now, because they are Soviet and were for many, many years exclusively sold in and around Russia, um, they do not have a massive following in the U.S. There's some guys who really like them, but they're not nearly as popular as um, some of the American or German brands are, you know, the, you know like Neumann and Audio Tech and stuff like that. Um, but they do offer a lot of really, really cool microphones, usually at really great price points. So this particular one, the MKL 2500, uh, it is a tube mic. There is a, a tube in here. I'm not sure what type of tube exactly. It is cardioid only, so it does not have, you know, Omni or figure eight or anything like that. It, it is just cardioid. Um, but it's a very interesting sounding mic. It's, it's, a little dark, but in a really rich and pleasing way. It actually it has characteristics that I almost would think of more like a like a ribbon mic. You know, really velvety, rich lows and mids. Um, a bit of a rolled off, darker, but still really sweet and clean top end. Um, it's a really just cool sounding mic. Uh, it works on a lot of different sources. You know, I used it as actually a drum overhead for years, a mono overhead over my snare, because um, it would really add a lot of, of room and body to the snare and the kick. Um, it also works great on certain vocalists, especially if you have a really bright or sibilant vocalist, you know, somebody with a lot of top end uh, to their voice or with really, you know, strong enunciated S's. Uh, this mic works fabulously for that because it does tame that that top end a little bit and can help to bring out richness in a situation where you're finding a vocal to be a little thin or something like that. Um, so overall, a great mic. Not, I would say, the most versatile mic necessarily just because it does have such a unique tone. But when you need the tone that it has, um, when you need that for a source, it really can do wonders. So let's go ahead, head out in the tracking room and give this mic a listen. <laughs> Okay, guys, there you have it. Octava MKL 2500 tube mic. Now, this mic uh, retails, I believe you can buy it new from a few distributors, and it's around a grand. Um, but because this mic has been in production for a long time, um, there are lots of used copies running around out there for a lot cheaper than that. I got this one for $250 on Reverb.com. Um, so they, they're definitely, you know, an, it's an affordable option for a mic. And at that price... It is, it's just, it's cool. It's got character. It's got vibe. It really um, gives things a real vintage kind of feel to them. And especially if you pair it with a vintage preamp uh, or a vintage style preamp, like I have my Neve 1073 clones here, um, it, it just does some really, really cool stuff. It really gives you a, a classic vibe to your, to your recordings. Um, the, the fact that it's cardioid only can be a little bit annoying, but, you know, again, typically when we're pointing a microphone at something, we want it to capture that thing, and cardioid is the most basic, straightforward way to do that. Um, you know, and then also with Omni mics and stuff, they're incredibly useful when you need them, uh, but sometimes they can, you know, get a little bit more room noise than you're looking for, um, so I really don't find it a big issue to not have Omni or figure eight patterns on this particular mic. Um, you know, and again, not the most versatile. It is a bit source-dependent, but when you, when you, 
can use its tone to your advantage, it's a really, really useful tool. So what do you guys think of this microphone if you have heard one or if you own one? What do you guys think of Octava mics in general? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Um, a lot of people get Octava mics like this or like the Octava Mark 319 and they will send it off to somebody like Michael Jolie or one of the, the modding companies out there and have the circuit modified and better transformers added and better diaphragm used and kind of rebuild the mic into something that sounds even more modern and hi-fi. And I think that's pretty cool, personally. Um, it kind of keeps some of these mics that might be forgotten by time, you know, keeps them alive and, and gives them a new modern life. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Um, again, my name is Alex Scott with ConcertDini.com. Thank you so much for checking out this review. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.